All across the world, we can see layers of folded rock, like those shown in these images. One thing geologists try to do is map the surface of the Earth. In order to do so, they take measurements on the layers of rock to show which direction they are tilted and how they are angled. Some of the common tools they use to explain and show how beds of rock are bent are dip, dip direction, and strike. Let's take a closer look at what these words mean. Dip refers to the angle at which the bed of rock is laying with respect to the horizontal. A zero degree dip means that the bed is flat, and a 90 degree dip means the bed is vertical. Dip direction refers to the compass direction from 0 to 360 degrees that the beds are dipping towards. In this image, the dip direction is north. Strike is a two-way compass direction, showing the orientation of the bed along the surface. In the image shown, the bed is striking in an east-west direction. To measure dip, dip direction, and strike, you'll need a couple of things. First thing you'll need is a compass. Next thing you'll need is a bottle of water. The last thing you'll need is an outcrop of rock with layering that you can measure the dip, dip direction, and strike. So come on with me to this bed of rock and let's try to take these measurements. The first one we'll worry about is dip. In order to measure dip, you'll want to use your bottle of water. If you pour the water on the rock, you can see the direction that the water flows. The direction the water flows is the direction of the dip. Now to measure the dip angle, you'll need your compass. So in order to do this, you need to align your compass so that west and east are facing north and south. Then you can lay your compass flat on the horizon like this, and then this black arrow will fall and point to the direction of the dip. So let's try to give this a shot. So if we lay this in the direction that the water was flowing and look at this black arrow right here, we can see that it is pointing to about 20 degrees. So that means that the dip is 20 degrees from the horizon. Now we will measure the dip direction. In order to do the dip direction, we'll take this part of the compass and lay it flat on the rock in the direction that the water was flowing. Then we'll take this part of the compass and lay it flat so that the, the needles point the directions that they should be. So next, we need to line up this red arrow with the red needle. So let's lay that flat. Turn the compass until right about there. Then we can see that the dip direction is at about 80 degrees, which is just about east. Lastly, we'll measure strike. In order to measure strike, we need to lay the compass perpendicular to the dip direction along the rock. Once we do that, and we line up the red arrow on the compass with the red needle, we can figure out which direction the rocks are striking. Once we've done that, we can see the strike goes in this direction, and it goes from about 345 degrees to about 365 degrees, which is just about north and south. So that is how you measure dip, dip direction, and strike.